Mr. Chairman, thank you for um, the time tonight. Committee members, thank you. I'm going to be brief. I did submit some written tes testimony um, from the Rhode Island Coalition. I should have gotten it this afternoon, I believe. Um, I, I know that when I was in the House, um, I didn't often always agree with, um, with Leader Newberry on everything, but um, I have to say that I would like to just um, reiterate the points that he was making about the bills um, getting votes. I just debated the way that, um, maybe it's just because of the issue that I've been dealing with, with with gun violence and getting to know the family members and victims of gun violence and how hard it is for them to come to the State House here after year and testify, um, wait hours and hours and um, not see that there's any vote that's ever taken on the bill that they're, that they're advocating for. And so I think that it's really important that we um, change the rules on the um, discharge position so that if there's 38 signatures on a bill, that it should should get a vote. Um, and, I, and I also think that um, I agree with um, Leader Newberry that I think that there should be a, a different process so that there's a first reading and a second reading, and I agree with that process. Um, I just think that we need to get votes on bills um, particularly when there is support from the body and there's support from the community. Um, there's been several bills that have been mentioned that there's community support for them. Um, we know with the polling, we know with the, we know that if there's 38 signatures on a vote on a bill that, that it should pass. Um, and so, and I agree that there should be some discretion of the committee chair, there should be some discretion of the, of the speaker, and, um, but I just feel as though we we really are doing people a disservice to having them come and testify um, years and years and years in a row. And uh, one bill in particular, the state schools bill, we, we've had people um, advocating for that bill for four years, and we've not gotten a vote out of the committee nor a vote on the floor. So those are the rules that I would propose that we change. Thank you, Rep. Before you, uh, before you come, any questions of uh, Representative Fenn? Uh, two things. First of all, I did not receive your uh, written testimony, so if I didn't, perhaps the other members did. Oh, okay. I sent it to um, I sent it to Mr. Palino, the the email that was on the. Um, so if you, if okay, I'll resend it. I'll make sure. It's, I have copies here anyway. I can leave as well. Um, the other thing I, I want to just clarify. Again, I didn't want to get into derogatories tonight. One very quick question. You said that. If a bill gets 38 signatures, it should pass. No, no, I didn't say that. I said. No, you did. If I said it. Should, well, I okay. then I, then I correct myself. Then. Pass. So I want to make sure you really. I didn't. I didn't mean that. Pass the committee. I mean that it should get a vote. It should get. Yeah, I did, I'm sorry. That was a misstatement. I certainly don't agree with that. <laughs> exactly. That would not because be. Because between the between the time a bill is introduced, the Abs process process, absolutely, and, and, and a signature on the discharge petition, that bill could change. Uh, like no, I, I, that was a misstatement, so thank you for uh, correcting that. Thank you. Thank you.